Hello students, today I will talk about our next topic that is mass moment of inertia of rectangular plate. In the previous video we have discussed about how to find mass moment of inertia of thin plates. So this is also a thin rectangular plate. Let us see what procedure we have to apply in order to find its mass moment of inertia. Now this is a rectangular plate given to us. Its length is labeled as A, its width is labeled as B units and its thickness is shown as T units and from its center three axes are drawn first is vertical axis it is labeled as A A dash then we have horizontal axis it is labeled as B B dash then we have third axis labeled as C C dash which is perpendicular to the plane of this particular rectangular plate the first two axes A A dash and B B dash are in the plane of the rectangular plate but the third axis is perpendicular to the plane of rectangular plate. Now one thing to observe over here uh, that uh, if we want to find the moment of inertia, mass moment of inertia of this particular rectangular plate about this particular axis A A dash so that will be equal to rho T and uh, multiplied by moment of inertia that is area moment of inertia of this particular plate about the same axis. This we have learned in the previous topic uh, that topic was on moments of inertia of thin plates. So in this topic we have learned that whenever we have to find mass moment of inertia of any thin plate about any particular axis then uh, you can apply this formula that you can multiply the area moment of inertia of that thin plate about the same axis with the rho t then that will be uh, called as mass moment of inertia of the thin plate about the same axis. So same uh, fundamental we will apply here as well. So that's why we have written that mass moment of inertia of this particular plate about A A dash is equal to rho t into area moment of inertia of same plate about A A dash. Now further what we will do we will put the value of area moment of inertia of rectangular plate about this particular uh, axis. Now area moment of inertia of a rectangular area we know it is equal to bd cube by 12 and uh, in uh, this formula bd cube by 12 b is the side of the rectangle rectangular area which is parallel to the axis right now we are using this axis so parallel to this axis we have uh, a side labeled as b it means b is b in the uh, particular problem now what is D? D is the side of the rectangular area which is perpendicular to the axis. Now this is the axis. So to this axis this side is perpendicular axis. So this side is labeled as A. So D over here is A. So we will write B A cube by 12. So B A cube by 12 is the area moment of inertia of this rectangular plate about this particular axis. So further what we will do? We will take A B outside. So we will we'll write rho T A B A square by 12. Now what is this? This is um, what is rho? Rho is mass per unit volume. Now it is multiplied by the volume of this particular rectangular plate. So we can replace this term rho T A B as M that is the mass of this rectangular plate. So the mass moment of inertia of this rectangular plate about this axis A dash A will become M A square by 12. Now very important part to understand uh, that in this particular term M is the mass of this rectangular plate and A is that side which is perpendicular to the axis about which we want to find the uh, mass moment of inertia. So this is the axis. So perpendicular to this axis we have this side. So you should remember that whenever you have to find uh, uh, mass moment of inertia of any rectangular plate about any particular axis. So it will be equal to m a square by 12 where a will be the side of the rect rectangular plate which is perpendicular to the axis about which we want to find mass moment of inertia. Similarly, we will say uh, if we have to find mass moment of inertia of this rectangular plate about this particular axis, let us say B B dash. So this will be equal to rho T into area moment of inertia of the same plate about that particular axis. So this will be further equal to rho T. So let us say what is area moment of inertia of this particular area, rectangular area about this particular axis. So that will be again B D Q by 12. But this time axis is horizontal. So B is that axis which is parallel, uh, B is that dimension which is parallel to the axis. So parallel to B B dash we have this particular dimension. So in this case B will be A. So see over here A is written. 
now what is d d is that side which is perpendicular to the axis so perpendicular to this axis is this side so that is b so over here we have written a b cube by 12 so this will become we will take a b uh, outside so it will become rho t a b b square by 12 so this particular rho t a b is what it is uh, the mass of the rectangular plate so we have replaced this term by m so our mass moment of inertia of this rectangular plate about b b dash will become m b square by 12 again a very important thing to observe this time we are finding mass moment of inertia about b b dash so in m b uh, uh, square by 12 this b is that side of the rectangular plate which is perpendicular to the axis about which we want to find the mass moment of inertia now last we are left with the, the mass moment of inertia of this particular rectangular plate about uh, axis c c dash so it will be equal to rho t into area moment of inertia of this rectangular plate about this particular axis c c dash so so over here uh, we will replace this term by uh, using perpendicular axis theorem so what is perpendicular axis theorem that if we have three axes x y z and you know the moment of inertia along x axis you know the know the moment of inertia along y axis and you want to find moment of inertia along z axis then that will be equal to iz is equal to ix plus iy so what we did over here we replaced this particular term by uh, area moment of inertia of this rectangular area about uh, a dash plus moment of inertia of this rectangular plate about bb dash fine so further uh, we will put these values what is a area moment of inertia about a dash it is b a cube by 12 so this term is written here b a cube by 12 this is replaced by this term that is a b cube by 12 so when you will solve further what we will do we will take a b common from these two terms so over here we will get rho t a b in bracket a square plus b square by 12 so we will replace this term that is uh, mass per unit volume into volume that would be mass of the rectangular plate so we have replaced this term by m by 12 into a square plus b square fine so this is the final answer for mass moment of inertia of this particular rectangular plate about the axis which is perpendicular to its plane i hope uh, this particular uh, uh, topic is clear to you thank you very much